I just saw my first movie in South Carolina, appropriately titled The Northmen, because I'm from the north uh, in Minnesota. So this was kind of a great first experience for me. You know what's not so great? The prices at Regal Cinema. I paid $18 to see a matinee showing and got a Pepsi. Also, they serve Pepsi. I might as well drink poison out of a paper straw. And yes, they have paper straws. Just imagine for a second that shitty paper cardboard sitting in soda pop for a couple hours, disintegrating, getting soggy. Not a good experience. And listen, I'm all at saving Mother Earth, but if it comes at the cost of a plastic straw, just burn it all to the ground at this point. If you're new to the channel, this isn't typically how I run my show. You can see that by subscribing and looking at anything older than a couple weeks. Uh, I've been on the road. I'm moving. I'm, I'm just getting settled in the new house. It's honestly a shit show right now. It, it's bedlam. It's chaos. I'm walking into World War III. So for the time being, I'm doing these quick and dirty car side reviews, still putting an effort. I got a mic in my hand, I got a computer next to me capturing the audio, it's gonna be really loosey-goosey. Let's get into it. The Northsman is a movie I was very much looking forward to. It looked like it was gonna be an epic tale, full of beautiful cinematography, some great acting, some awesome action, a cool soundtrack. It's got all of it! It's awesome. I really dug this film. There are some twists and turns, but for the most part it plays things pretty straightforward. It's a revenge tale about a boy whose dad is murdered unceremoniously, and Alexander Skarsgård's gonna do everything and anything to preserve his father's legacy. I believe this is the same director that did The Witch. That might not be correct, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it is. It's beautiful, it's haunting, it has that same vibe to it, albeit set in AD time. Nicole Kidman's in this. If you're a theater goer, you might know her from those dreaded AMC ads before the movie begins where she sits alone in a theater, as I imagine Nicole Kidman does. The Queen's Gambit actress is in this. She's also in New Mutants and uh, One Night in Soho. Oh, uh, I forgot her name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Because that's just not, I should know her name. I love this actress too. I'm getting nothing. Why do I get no reception? Does South Carolina have no internet? Anya Taylor-Joy. See, I knew there was three words. I knew there was, there was three words in there. Ethan Hawke has a small role in this. Willem Dafoe has an even smaller role in this. Only really in one sequence. Here's the thing. The acting's great. Okay, everything I, I listed off already is superbly done. It's a longer film. I believe it's over two hours. But um, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It could have been it could have been four hours long just because I was so into the the revenge aspect and the the cinematography was top notch. I really had no issues with this movie at all. It's pretty graphic. There's innards being spilled out. There's decapitations, both of the human kind and of horses. Multiple, uh, several horse decapitation. This. Uh, the short for decapitation. The film has a dark sense of humor at times. We see the father and son burping and farting. There's a Where the Wild Things Are style dance around a campfire. So it's gory, has unconventional humor. Some great action scenes that have that long shot, that free flowing camera that doesn't stop for minutes at a time that most people don't notice except for movie buffs. They really relish in those setups. I mean, we have tracking shots that go through an entire action sequence, a la Game of Thrones season four or five. And it's not shaky camera in these moments either. There's some great choreography where two or more people will be dueling for what feels like a minute straight with no camera cuts. There's also a barbaric version of Quidditch, which I found very fascinating and could have watched an entire 45 minute thing on that alone. I really wanted more Valhalla Quidditch. There's sacrifices, there's chanting, there's offerings. It goes into some dark magic type stuff, which again makes me think that the director of The Witch did this. And because we get another tasteful shot of Anya's ass, which was kind of the main focus for me in The Witch. I have nothing bad to say. This is another favorite of mine for the year. Dug the shit out of this movie and I want to watch it again. It is another... I will, I will tell you, I was getting fearful that the movie was going to cut in an artsy way or it was going to lead into a sequel. Thankfully, it resolves. There was like three or four moments where I thought, oh God, we're wrapping up. They're going to they're gonna spin this into a second movie and we're not going to get any closure at all. No, there is closure. It's done well. Uh, uh, this is just one of those things you should see on the big screen. 
I think that about covers it. Now, if you're wondering what I think of South Carolina so far in my first week, really love it. Weather's beautiful. Lots to, lots to see and lots to do, and I can't wait to do it. I did visit the ocean once with the family before we moved in. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. I can't remember what island it is even because uh, there's a few of them here, but so far really digging it and I really dig this movie. Now if I can just find a theater with some more realistic pricing or I, I know they do have like a pass for 21 bucks I think a month, so I'll have to look into that because that's definitely worth it. I think that's worth it. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I post a ton of movie content. Maybe not so much this week, um, but I will get my new studio set up soon. I'll have a tour of that. If you're a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or a YouTube join member right here, you will get more access to that. You'll see my house, uh, the layout, the family, and just a greeting from South Carolina from the Minnesota family. And with that, uh, I take my leave. Go watch this movie. Absolute win.